right here, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let them. I hit the nail on the head. Just got through TSA, heading to the gate now, gate six. Got roughly, I'd say about, about an hour and 15 till we leave. So don't have to rush there. And just relax and wait. Gonna be a good flight. Going to Philly first. I think I got like a hour and a half, two hour layover there. And then we head to Raleigh, Durham. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> Today was a very long and strenuous day. You guys saw me land in Philly, and after that, we were in Philly. Um, actually, there was another kid that was supposed to be in my flight to Raleigh when I got into Philly originally. So me and Owen were waiting for this flight, I'm telling you, for like three hours, and there was supposedly maintenance to this plane that they were doing, and the flight ended up being canceled. We had to scramble across the airport, found another flight to Raleigh, left at like 8, 45 got in at like 9 45 about an hour flight and just got to the hotel it is like 11 o'clock but this room is sick i get this whole room to myself so we'll do a quick room tour so this is the front door so when you walk in this is what you got you got two beds nice got my suitcase and my other bag over there nice workbench right there to work in got some other stuff, cool stuff, um, TV, chair, then we got the, the view out the window, get to see the streets of Cary, nice mirror right there, and bathroom, nice mirror here too apparently. That is pretty much the room. There is a crazy amount of rooms in here. Um, this hotel is extremely nice. So this is probably one of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed at. Like that's not like an actual suite, but probably gonna hit the hay here in a little bit, gonna shower and then probably go to sleep. It's been a long day. So gotta be up early tomorrow. I think at like 8 a.m. for blood work or something. So I'm gonna get that done and get breakfast and then get the day going. Not sure what else is planned for tomorrow. Games got canceled for tomorrow, so no games. And I think after that, it's just lunch and dinner. So pretty free day tomorrow. Gonna get some work done on another video for y'all. And that was the day. Pretty, pretty adventurous. It is bright and early. About to go ahead to get some blood work done. After that, gonna get some breakfast. And then I guess I have a meeting with the Reds at 11.30. Pretty much the rest of the day is free. So I'm gonna do some work and Get some food. I'm probably gonna stretch and throw at some point today too, so I can't bring the camera to blood work um, or the meeting. They probably won't allow me to film either of those. And the meeting's private and blood work normally is a medical issue, so they probably won't allow me to film that either. So I'm just gonna leave the camera up here and uh, I'll tell you guys about it when I get back. I'm gonna show you all the gear I got after my blood work and breakfast. I went and got my gear. I would have brought y'all with me, but I was already down there. Wasn't gonna come back up to the room, but I will show you all the gear. Um, here it is. First, we have got this draft combine bag, as you can see right there. I mean, pretty nice, good material, a little, little slugger, so. Uh, gonna be a sturdy bag. Gonna hold well for this week. Um, moving on, got this mask right here. Um, USA mask, good material. I just put it on, so um, probably gonna be my go-to plain mask. Um, wristbands, Franklin. Evo Shield, a draft combine arm sleeve. Some batting gloves right there. Um, long sleeve draft combine shirt. USA trucker hat right there, nice hat. Um, Draft Combine Polo, probably going to wear that on the plane on the way home, or maybe that shirt right there, I don't know. But um, moving on, we've got gray Nike compression shorts, we've got navy blue regular shorts, and then we've got four red uh, Draft Combine t-shirts. Um, they, they all have four on them, all those right there. Um, but um, going on, long gray baseball pants, so I'm going to have to roll them up to wear them um, short. Um, navy blue stance socks, navy blue belt, red jersey. The material of this jersey is actually really nice. Um, uh, 
they're all, everything is Nike, so all the materials and stuff are going to be really good. Um, and lastly, the USA hat. Pretty cool hat. It's got the Draft Combine logo on the side there as well. So overall, some really nice gear. Um, definitely going to wear this stuff for a while. Got a lot of nice stuff, so I am excited for the, the week. Like I said, meeting with the Cincinnati Reds at 11.30. So I guess we'll see how that goes. I'm not quite sure if I'll have any other team meetings today, maybe later. I know I have the Indians on, I want to say, Thursday, I think, in the middle of the day. And then I'm throwing on Friday on the 26th at 12. The schedule's really planned out here, so I'll have good advance notice on when I'm going to have to be doing something. But I'm going to just chill here in the hotel for now, um, wait till about 11, 15 to probably get up and do something. But yeah, I'm going to try this stuff on, make sure it all fits, and I will check back in with y'all after this meeting. Finished up the Reds meeting about uh, three hours ago. Got some lunch. Uh, was hanging out in the Players Lounge. Still haven't showed y'all that yet. We'll probably do that tonight. Head over there with the camera and stuff. Got BP in two and a half hours. We leave. The bus departs. Got to be there at 445 in front of the hotel to leave. Gonna knock out this edit. I should have enough time. About like an hour and 45 minutes to get this done. So that should be more than enough time. Gonna bring the camera to BP. Gonna get my throwing in today. Gotta go light. Probably about like 90 feet. See how the arm feels. Haven't thrown in a few days. So first games are tomorrow. Uh, I'm not throwing until Saturday. So I don't have to worry about throwing in a game tomorrow. We gotta wear this practice uniform to uh, take BP in. So these shorts are a little big, so I had to roll them up a few times. Other than that, just gonna chill here until about 4.30. We have arrived at the field. They're taking batting practice now. About to get throwing in. Gonna go like 90 feet, but here's what's going on. Got all the people. People in the stands too, so good to see, but gonna get throwing in, recovery, and call it a day. Finished up throwing, about to do bands, roll out, shoulder tube, stretch, and then check for a little bit, and then that's the day. Just finished up dinner. We are heading back to the hotel room, but first I'm gonna give you guys a little look at what this stuff looks like here. First we've got the uh, like convention center, I guess. This is where they're gonna be holding like speeches and stuff, I'm assuming, so you guys can see what this looks like right here. Pretty cool room. We have got the player's lounge. Told you guys about this, look at this, it's sick. Got some uh, massage chairs right here. I'm probably gonna sit in this right now. Get a nice massage, my hands are full, so. But here's the rest of the room. It's pretty sick. They got like uh, TVs for MLB The Show. They've got like Gatorades and stuff. Couches, uh, foosball table right there. Air hockey, ping pong, pinball, all sorts of stuff in here. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this cookie right here that I got and get a massage. So this is the convention center right here. Pretty much all the stuff that we have to do is in there or meetings are over at that hotel right there. I'm walking back to the actual hotel. I'm gonna change, shower, and get some more work done probably, do some other stuff, but this is the view of the city that we got. So actually, pretty nice. Sunset right now, I'm gonna see if I can get a nice view from my room, actually. This lighting's terrible, but whatever, we don't care. We're going with the flow and going back to the room. Ah, good morning, vlog. It is 9.38 here in the morning, leaving for the field at 11.30, have a game at 3. Gonna be there really early, not sure why, probably gonna take BP and stuff. Gonna figure it out as we go, 
they haven't really done a great job of telling us what we need to do and stuff, giving us a heads up. I thought they were going to at first, as y'all probably saw earlier in this video, I said that they were doing a good job of letting me know where to go. That has kind of deteriorated and now we are just kind of on our own at this point. So, But I'm assuming that we're going to arrive at the field and probably take batting practice, going to get my throwing in at that time and do everything I need to do and then we're just going to chill and watch the game. That's what I'm assuming. Not sure if that's actually how it's going to go, but that's the plan. About to get this game started. Got rushed for my bullpen, so I didn't get to film it, but we got the players warming up. So, even if I gotta wait in the back. We got the Miami crew here. What up, vlog? Go Canes, baby. Yes, sir, baby. <laughs> Yo, shout out Ty Acker. Ty Acker, bro, you're the man if you're watching this. <laughs> Number four, Roman Kimball. Number six, Ray Slesinger. Number 13. Just finished up the game. It is probably about, I'd say, six ish. Red team one, heading back to the hotel now. I'm starving, gonna get food, and then chill out, shower up, and rest up for the rest of the week it is the next day woke up about an hour ago headed down to the convention center had to get a vision test done so did that i took a vision test before i even got here so i don't understand why i had to take another one my vision's like 2015 so it's above average which is good so i don't i don't know i had to turn it into them so i really don't understand why i had to take another one but whatever itinerary for the day is pretty boring i'm not really doing much today i've got like sports assessments and that's pretty much it like athletic assessments no games today just easy day gonna do these assessments at like i believe two o'clock it starts actually 12 or something i don't know that'll be good get those out of the way hopefully we go to the field later so i can throw and get my stuff done and i'm throwing in a few days so hopefully i can get that stuff in to get prepared for saturday Just finished up the athletics assessments, went well. Got screwed over on the green three agility test, but it is what it is. I ran good times for both at PDP, so I think I'll be all right. Heading to get some dinner right now. I guess some people are doing some speeches and stuff, so we'll figure out who will be doing those at 6.45, which is when they start. I think there's a few of them going on, so. I'm gonna walk over to the convention center now and uh, get some food, because I am hungry. Hey, big shout out to Max Mattel. That's my boy. <laughs> Finished up that long stint of speeches. It is 11.45 currently. Getting some editing work done on this video actually right now. So you guys can see. Crushing this edit. I actually got to throw tonight, went to the basement where we had the athletic assessments today and through there with Owen. Owen hasn't been on the vlog yet, so he needs to get on the vlog. Meeting with the Indians tomorrow at 10.30, so I'm actually gonna sleep in, I think, until like 10 and get ready to go. I think I'm gonna skip breakfast in the morning, get some sleep, rest up, and then get ready to go for Saturday. I'm gonna go out there and just do my thing and hopefully show some people what I got. But I'm going to clock out for the night. I will see y'all tomorrow. It is the next morning. About to head over to the Marriott for the Cleveland Indians meeting, so I will let you know how it goes when I get back. Just finished up the meeting with the Indians. Pretty easy. Just a basic Zoom call with one of the guys that I know from the Indians. So there were a few other guys in the room. I actually just met them. Like, I didn't know who they were. But I actually got on the Zoom call with the guy that I knew, so it was a bit of a familiar call. Good to talk to somebody that I had familiarity with, and it went well. He uh, didn't really ask me too much. Um, the Indians know me pretty well, so just kind of asked me a few questions about what I wanted to work on if I got drafted by the Indians and stuff like that, and gave me the opportunity to ask any questions about 
their organization and stuff. So productive meeting, but about to head out with the parents. Gonna go get some breakfast because I slept through it this morning to get some extra sleep. And we're going to IHOP, so gonna get some pancakes. The rest of the day is pretty boring. Don't have much going on, so gonna have to find a place to throw. Probably gonna throw in the basement again like I did last night. And tomorrow's a big day. All right, guys, just finished up throwing. We're with Owen. What's up, vlog? <laughs> we are scavenging our way around to get out of this place because we had to walk around about 10 different entrances to get in here. Hopefully this door right here, we're allowed to get out. And they also let us throw in the basement too, which is good. Which is what we did last uh, night. I don't think they're, they know we're throwing in the basement. Yeah, I mean, but here's the sky at Raleigh. Look at this. Nice one, guy. <laughs> Pretty much done for the night. It's bump day tomorrow, so that means we gotta go to sleep at a decent hour, rest up, get a good breakfast in the morning, and get ready to shove. I'm actually pitching against Owen. Yeah, both gonna shove, both Facts. of us. Facts, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning vlog, heading to the bus here in about 10 minutes. Gonna head to the field for about 10.30. I'm sure we'll get there around then. And game starts at 12, so I probably won't end up throwing until about 1.45, 2 o'clock-ish. I'm throwing the seventh and the eighth inning, so I'll be fourth on the pitching list for today. So gonna get my warm up in at about 12.45. Hopefully be on the mound at about 1.45, 2 ish, so that'll give me enough time to get all my stuff done. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna go out there and shove, and I'll see y'all at the field for today. Let's go. Well guys, uh, today didn't really go as planned. I didn't really throw too great. Command wasn't there. Didn't really throw a lot of off-speed stuff because I just kind of wanted to like show my fastball so I could get guys out with my fastball. I just didn't really throw that good. Gave up two hits, walked a guy, hit a guy, and gave up two runs. So uh, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. I haven't been throwing really good recently, and I don't really feel like myself I guess like I did last summer last summer was the best I've ever thrown like I would go out there and I just knew I was winning and now I just feel like I go out there and I'm like battling to win it's not really a good feeling and I'm not really confident in my stuff right now which isn't good either so I just feel like I gotta be confident focus in and uh, go out there and be the pitcher that I was in the summer and just deal and be confident in my stuff and not lose focus and have a plan another reason why i feel like i didn't really throw well today was because i was originally supposed to throw in the 12 o'clock game today but i show up to the field at 10 30 get ready um i'm not throwing until late so i'm just like kind of ready to watch the game and 11:50 comes around and coaches got word that me and uh one of my other teammates were throwing in the second game. So I've been at the field since 1030. The game doesn't start until about 530. It was originally supposed to start at four, but there was a rain delay. So we didn't start till about 530. So I was sitting at the field for about eight hours before I even threw, which didn't help. I was just kind of pissed off all day because I was originally supposed to throw in the morning game and I didn't. So, I mean, that's not an excuse. Um, there's no excuse for how I threw today, but I feel like that had a factor in my head. It is what it is. I think I'm gonna take a little break from YouTube. I feel like I uh, 
just got to focus on pitching and stuff right now. And I put a lot of time into this vlog and uh, I feel like maybe if I take a little bit of time off, it'll help me out and just kind of refocus and kind of think everything through. This sucks because I love making videos for you guys and uh, this is something I look forward to every week is getting these videos out to y'all. But this is something I got to do for myself and I got to put myself first here. And uh, that's by me taking a break from this stuff. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I am going to come back eventually. I'm not going to stop making videos. This is something I really enjoy, but that's going to do it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Also, subscribe to the channel so y'all don't miss out on any new content I post. Click that notification bell so you guys don't miss out when I post a new video and you guys can get notified when I do that. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace, guys.